how we doing? This is Gloria, and I'm like so overwhelmed, guys. I definitely have to put a face-to-face -face video up. You guys are so amazing. Me just thinking about it and talking about it, I got goosebumps all over me. You guys are so sweet. Oh my God, I'm not even gonna say anything no more because I wanna do a video and I wanna show you my appreciation for everyone that comment on my video. You guys are gonna make me cry and I just can't do it. I There's just so much and I don't wanna let go. But anyway, I don't wanna get into it. I wanna do this card that, I'm, that I got planned. So guys, I'm not sure what paper stack this is. Um... So if you guys know, I ended up splitting this paper pad with one of my girlfriends uh, a while back. We're not friends no more, though. Um, things happen, so. But anyway, if you guys know what paper stack this is, please PM me and let me know because I have no idea. So what we ended up doing, we bought a paper stack and we split it in half. She kept the cover and I just kept the other half. So the paper pattern I got was out of this stack right here. But anyway, guys, let's get started. Now, today I don't have a Cricut cartridge that I'm doing. So I'm doing a, a layout, not a layout, but a image from the pretty ribbon, pretty paper, pretty paper, pretty ribbon, or, you know, give me a second. Let me make sure before I end up saying something wrong and then everyone wants to kill me. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, just give me a second. And the file is from Paper Piercings by Nicole. Now, if you don't know about her, guys, you definitely need to go check out her, uh, her, her site. Because she got some really, really cute cuts. But anyway, I'm doing a fall card today and I thought this would be appropriate to do. So my card base is going to be an A2 size card. It is four and a quarter by 11 and we're going to score it four and a half. And what I end up doing, I end up taking my round, my corner rounder punch and I crown, uh, I, I crown. I went all around all the corners. So let's adhere this together. I mean, not adhere it, but score it and then adhere everything together. So we're going to score it at five and a half. So there goes your five and a half. Now, do you know, it's like I'm missing everything in my craft room. I think I'm not going <laughs> to, I ain't going to clean my craft room no more. I'm, I'm done. I'll straighten up and make it look presentable, but I'm not going to readjust, you know, rearrange it. Because now that that's happening, I can't find nothing. Nothing at all. But anyway, guys, okay, let's get started. So I did the same with the inside of the, the cardstock that I'm using. And I'm using this, and I end up using my corner chopper, or my corner punch, or ch uh, corner chopper, whichever one you guys got. And long as it rounds out corners, you'll be fine. But, oh my God, guys. I really didn't pay attention, not pay attention, but I really didn't, mm, I got to cut this down, it's too long, okay, so if that's five and a half, this has to be, yeah, it's five and a half, so let me do five and a quarter, Let me get my corner rounder and round out all the corners. Just the two that I end up cutting. So there we go. So now I'm just going to adhere this to my card base. Okay, now for my pattern paper. This is the pattern paper I got out of that paper stack. And it's glossy and it's really cute. It's retro and it's double-sided paper. So I'm going to adhere that there. But before I do that, I end up using my Martha Stewart Fall Leaf leaves punch and what I did I, I bordered out uh, a border so what I'm going to do I'm going to adhere this behind my pattern paper just like that so let me do that really quick but oh my god guys like I was saying I had no idea 
what it probably was is that I really wasn't paying attention to how many people actually look at my videos. Oh my God, you guys are amazing. I mean, when I told my husband about it, he's like, Gloria, why? I told him, I just don't have the time. He was like, baby, but you love to do that. And I'm like, I know, baby, but, you know. And then when he read all the comments, which he read all the comments, ladies. All he kept on saying to me is, don't do that. Don't leave these ladies out on the curve. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not throwing them away. I'm just going to stop. And he was like, no, baby, you can't. You know these people, they look forward for your videos every day. If you can, post it. You know, because I, when I first started doing videos, from September 8th all the way to April, I put up a video almost every single day. Okay, so now I'm going to adhere this to the bottom of my cardstock. Okay, now for the inside of my sentiment, I'm going to use the Scrappy Mom stamp set called Pick Up, Pick Up the Patch. And I'm going to use Let's Get Stuffed. Because you guys are going to see why I'm putting Let's Get Stuff. Because if you guys don't know, I love me some fall pumpkin and sweet potato pie. Ooh, mama. I mean, if you guys don't, didn't, never, you know. And you have to make the sweet potato pie home. I'm sorry. I've tried the sweet potato pies in the store. Oh, my God. They are, like, so ugh, disgusting. And, you know... Sometimes I just want to show them, look at how easy it is to make it, you know. I mean, too, too easy. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp my image. Not stamp my image, but stamp my sentiment right in the middle. And it says, let's get stuffed. That looks good right there. And what I did, I have some leftover flowers, not flowers, but leaves from this punch that I got. So I'm just going to throw some down here in the corner. Okay, but before that, I want to use my Tim Holtz tea dye distress and kind of take the, the, the color of the pink. So, I mean, it's like so vibrant. So you want to like mellow it down a little bit. So you just put a little bit of ink on them and you're good to go, guys. But definitely, guys, um, I don't know when. So I'm going to try to put up a video, a face video. And I want to show my appreciation to everyone that commented. Even the people that I've never seen comment it oh my god they were telling me please don't i'm such an inspiration and i'm like you know you do things in life and you don't think that it touches anybody or you don't realize that how much it would touch somebody and then this one i think i want to pop up no i'm gonna lay it flat down because this is the inside of the card Okay, and it's going to go right down there just like that. And look at how cute that looks. You know, that don't even look great. I think that looks a little bit better. That really don't even look right either. Okay, I think I'm going to put it on the top. I changed my mind, guys. Like usual. Okay, so there goes the inside of the my card. It says, let's get stuffed. You know, I think I'm missing something else, which if you guys know me, I'm missing something else. Okay. 
okay? So, what I'm missing, I think I'm going to use a black mat. So, if this is four inches, I want to make this four and a quarter. No, I want to make this four and one eighth. So, if it's four and a quarter, I'll do right there. And then, if this is five and a quarter, I do that. And then let me do the corners, because you got to coordinate everything you do. If you corner punch it, you have to definitely kind of coordinate it. Okay, let me put my ink away. Oh my God, what a big difference. Okay, now I'm going to hear my black mat to my card base. You know, when you're doing cards, it, it's funny because when you have an imagination in your head, you put it down on paper, it don't seem like you imagine it. And then, it's like totally off. It just don't look right. It's horrible. Oh my God, it's a mess. Okay, so now I'm going to adhere this to my card base. And that's too far out. And that looks good. Now, look at how much better that looks. It kind of brings it out even more. Sometimes all it does, it takes just an eye, guys. Just an eye. Okay, let's get stuffed. Now, let's start decorating the outside. So, for the outside, I have this craft card stock, that pad and paper. And I'm going to hear both of these together. And for some reason, yep, I put the wrong mat down. No, I didn't. This is right. Okay, so let me adhere this to my base. My first layer, I mean. And now I'm going to adhere that to my card base, like that. And I'm leaving a lot of pink out because I want it to be like an accent color. Because my image, it has a little bit of pink on it. Okay, now, you know, I did forget. I did use a Cricut cartridge and I use Elegant Edges. And on elegant edges, I end up cutting out this frame, and I use the pink and then the pattern paper, and I'm going to adhere it right here. Just like that. Okay, so should I pop this up? You know, yeah, let me pop it up. I haven't been popping anything up lately. And if you guys know me, I love to pop up stuff, and this is crooked. Okay, that looks better. Now I'm going to pop this up. So I'm using my phone. Uh, I got this phone tape out of Big Lots. I don't know if you guys up north have a Big Lots, but where I'm at down in Florida, um, we have a lot of Big Lots. Oh, And at first, Big Lots used to carry a lot of craft stuff. And I think they must have like sold out, did a, uh, uh, a closeout. And then all of a sudden, now they like 
carry just very little stuff in there. And it's like mostly, to, if you ask me, it's mostly junk. But was someone else's junk? Is someone else's treasure. So something that I might think that is junk for me because I won't use it in my craft room. Somebody be like, oh my God, that's awesome. I need that. So it all depends on what you're actually into. Okay, and since I popped this up, I'm going to adhere it down. Last night, guys, I was so hungry. I ended up making this, you know, it was something quick and easy because I didn't get home. I got home really late last night, so I had to cook something really quick. So I'm, I've been, I've tried this new hamburger helper called the Ultimate, and it's the Ultimate Creamy Parmesan. No, not Parmesan, but stroganoff. Oh my God, I could not eat it. And then I wanted to make me a grilled cheese, and we had no bread. So my husband ran to the store. <laughs> oh my God, I was so starving last night. Okay, now there goes my, my card base and everything, how it looks. Now for my image, I thought this was so adorable. Here goes my image and it's a teddy bear with a pie in front of him. And you know, this might not work. Let me see. Oh, that would have been perfect if I could have had it there, but it didn't work out. So, here goes my image, and I'm going to adhere him right down, just like that. But I got him on pop dot, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop him up a little bit more. Because, I don't know if you guys see. Okay, you see the difference in the Cricut Cuts on the back of them? Um, let me show you an image. Hold on. Do I got it here? Do I got it here? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, let me show you something. Hold on. Okay. So this is the silhouette cut. And everything that cuts the silhouette is in pieces. And then you just got to foam it. And, I mean, not foam it, but you got to put it together. Now, on the Cricut Cuts, the Cricut Cuts are whole. So if you got one color, it's going to be whole. If you got another color, it's going to be whole layers. But this is just pieces that they cut out. And when you put it together, it looks like one full piece, which is really cute. So let me adhere the... Uh, my Ooh, Where is my foam? I just had it. And it's probably right in my face. Oh, here it goes. Do you see? It's right in my face, ladies. Oh, you just don't have no idea. You know, guys, I don't record everything on YouTube. Um, a lot of the projects that I do, cards and stuff like that, sometimes, some people need it really quick. So if I do a video, it takes me so much longer because I'm trying to talk to you and then as I'm going along, telling you what to do. But um, there's a lot of times that I make cards and um, I don't videotape it. I just, you know, if someone requests a card, I just give it to them. Okay, so I'm going to tape the back up. Okay, now let me just do another one. And I thought this image was really cute. And, you know, with the Scrappy Mom stamp sets that I have, there's so many versatile, I mean, so many different uh, things you can do with her stamps. And I just love them. I've been uh, buying their stamps for the past three, almost four years, I think it's been, since they've been out. So, and every month, they come out with two new sets, which is awesome. And I get them, you know. I just got to remember that one of these months, I'm not supposed to buy none because I'm getting a set of stamps for me being a guest designer on the Scrappy Mom stamps. Okay, so there goes my card and here goes my image. I'm going to try to pop it up or put it up as far as I can. 
Okay, now I end up using the Scrappy Mom stamp set again. And the one that I use is Oh My. My Oh My Pumpkin Pie. So I stamped it over here. And then I have some uh, leaves that were left over that I punched. And I'm just going to adhere it right down here. I want to make it like a banner type. So I think I'm going to do it like that. So I will have to glue the bottoms and then pop the middle. Okay, so let me do that. Okay, that's popping the middle. Okay, this is what I'm doing. So what I did, guys, I kind of smushed it in, you know, to kind of give it into a banner effect. And then what I'm going to do, I got a piece of foam tape, any foam that you have, of course. And just put it straight down in the middle, just like that. And then you add glue to the ends. Okay, come on glue. I know you can work for me. Oh, that's too much now. Sometimes it flows out too little, and sometimes it just flows all the way out. And I dropped some glue right there, so I got to make sure I don't touch it. Mm, that's too much. See, I end up cleaning up my, my holes. Okay. So now I'm going to take my foam out, my strip, and then I'm going to put my card right here. And then I'm going to kind of squeeze it in a little bit. I touched the glue. Okay, and so for my sign, it's going to go straight right here. And I'm going to glue one side down. And then I'm going to squeeze in the other one. I got glue on my sentiment. Dry clear, dry clear. I know why I got glue. I forgot to clean up that piece of glue that was right here. Okay, guys. Well, oh my. I'm saying it wrong. My, oh my, pumpkin pie. I thought she came out so adorable. And I glossy accent her eyes and her nose to kind of bring her out. And this pie is so stinking adorable, guys. Definitely, definitely love it. So thank you so much for commenting, liking, subscribing, and definitely leaving me comments, guys, because with every comment that you guys leave me, you make me want to do more. And, you know, like I said before, you're your worst enemy, so you don't ever think that you do things good Unless you're conceited or something like that, you know, which I'm not. I always think that I'm doing it wrong until I hear people say, oh, no, it's awesome. It's wonderful. This and this and that. So, but there goes my card, guys. Thank you for joining me today. And, you know, I'm missing something else. Hold on a second. I forgot to do this because it's just not going to look right. I need to do the corners of the top of my card and I just did the corners okay so there you go guys there goes my card for today and um there goes the inside and there goes the outside I definitely hope you guys like my card thank you so much for stopping by you guys have a blessed day don't forget i'll be putting up a video very soon maybe this weekend uh to to do all the comments because i had so many comments i i wasn't able to you know reply to all of them as a matter of fact i wasn't able to reply to none of them 
So this is why I want to do a personal video, okay? So there you go, guys. Thank you so much, and you have a blessed day. Bye now.